My next guest in the author's studio is an absolute diamond. Stav Sherez started life as a rock journalist and went on to carve out a hugely successful career as a crime thriller writer. In 2018, he received one of the highest accolades in the crime thriller world, winning the old peculiar Thigston's Crime Roll of the Year. I'm delighted to welcome him. Write what you don't know you know. That's that. Writing is so great, you can invent anything. People say, write what you know. We, none of us commit murders, or hopefully none of us commit murders. So it's always great to stretch yourself and all the infinite lives you could have led, you can lead in a book. All my books are favorite for different reasons. So some books I like, I think I got the plot right. Some bit books I like for the sentences, but my favorite book is always the one I've just handed in. So the new one, The Intrusions, at the moment is my favorite. In about two months time, I'll hate it, but at the moment, I love it. Every day in my room, in a small room, in the corner of the room, facing the wall, about nine till about eight in the evening, I just write and think about it. I can't write, I used to be able, when I was younger, I used to be able to write in coffee shops, on trains and planes, but like everything else, as you get older, you get more kind of quirky and all that. So now I can only write in my room. I need quiet silence, no internet distractions. Oh, so many of them, I mean, God, it's really hard to say. Kerouac, and when I was about 14, 15, I got into The Beats and Kerouac and William Burroughs, and there was such excitement about those books. Even though reading them now, I wouldn't necessarily call them my favorite books. Reading Jim Thompson for the first time blew my mind. Reading James Elroy in the 90s just showed me what you can do with crime. So, so many books, and books are still inspiring me. You know, every day I read a book. I think every writer should be reading all the time if they can. And it's fun. I don't even believe in guilty pleasures. I think all books, all genres are great. You know, I'll read Wilbur Smith, I'll read Cormac McCarthy, I'll read everything. So I think my guilty pleasure is some days not reading, not writing and not thinking about it. Just listen to music. Absolutely. I think since the age of seven or eight, I asked my parents this because I wasn't sure if I'd falsified the memory, but since the age of seven or eight, where I started reading books and get really into books and it was such great escapism, my mum said to me, you said to me when you were eight, I just want to be a writer, I want to be nothing else. And I don't ever remember varying from that. It was about 31 when I got published, so it took a while, but yeah, it's the only thing I've ever wanted, so I'm so happy to be able to have the chance to write. I don't. I mean, I'm one of those people, I just can't plan. I really have tried it and I just can't do it. So I normally have a scene in my head and that's normally what starts the book off. And then I start writing and then logically certain choices have to be made. And then I, I rewrite a lot. So when I rewrite is when I see the kind of all the complex and how to connect red herrings to create all that. But I wish I could plan because I write myself into blind corners all the time and if I could plan, but whenever I try it, my mind just doesn't do it. I need to actually see the thing on the paper to be able to kind of see what's wrong with it. Um, I've lost chapters, yes. I've had a couple of times where computers literally just died and a whole chapter's that and it's awful so I can imagine the idea of losing a whole novel and you read about that in the history of literature people reading a whole novel Eric Ambler lost the whole of light today and had to rewrite it. he had he had a fireproof safe in his house and there was a fire and the safe turned out not to be fireproof and so he ended up having to rewrite and he, he said the first time he wrote it, it was quite serious the second time he decided to write it as a comedy and so sometimes maybe that but it's the biggest fear but luckily these days with cloud storage and all that it's becoming far less I think yeah. happens far less Absolutely. Cigarettes and coffee, the writer's tools. Um, always have coffee, a cigarette, I'll write for about an hour and then I'll stop, put on a song, coffee, cigarette, gives me a little break, a little mind cleanse and back to the writing. I'm very ritualised. I find if I have order and ritual, it allows me to work much more concentrated and you really do need to work hard on books and stuff. The idea that just doing it when your inspiration strikes, it works for about 10 minutes and then you realise you'll never get a book written. So create rituals, create order, Life is full of chaos. You need that order to be able to kind of form yourself into that kind of mental space. Thanks for being my guest, Stav. It's always terrific to see you.